Hey everyone, my name is Shrew and we are here. This is going to be week 8 of our PGL battles and this is going to be up against EXP Awesome. This is a pretty scary matchup overall. He has electric terrain abusers as well as rain abusers. So, so pretty much half of his team can double its speed. But that said, we do have a lot of pretty awesome techs, I think. And I think we're we gonna be able to get through it. I'm kind of afraid that I did over prep for a few things, and that might open the door for a few other threats. But I guess we're just going to have to see what happens. Um, this is also really exciting to get back to doing the doing it live. I guess we're gonna see how that goes. I am incredibly uh, rusty at doing this just because of. Uh, a lot of different factors cutting down on the time to be able to do this live, but we're here now and uh, let's see. Okay, we see the Tangrowth, Swampert, um, what do you call it? Toxicroak, Landorus Incarnate, Thunderous Incarnate, and the Politoed. Okay, so no Alolan Raichu setup, which is fan freaking fantastic. That is so exciting to me. I know he wanted to, d to deny me the Electric Seed Halucha, and that's why I'm packing the Yachi Berry Halucha. Specifically because I know a lot of his team is going to be packing the Ice Coverage. So I am really, really excited that it did not bring the Electric Seed, even though of course I thought about it. But in this case, what do I lead? I do have a pretty def darn defensive um, Jirachi with Shaka Berry. I think I'm going to lead that just to get rocks up turn one. I'm gonna try and play this um, pretty conservatively, pretty, at least in the beginning, pretty conservatively, pretty uh, just down to basics, trying to get as much information as possible early on. I mean, like I said, obviously he's gonna have plenty of opportunities to just um, get his speed up, but I do have a lot of text. My um, Nihilego is a Focus Sash with Trick Room. My uh, Hydreigon has Tailwind, so it just sets up rain right away. That is totally, totally fine. I'm just going to take this opportunity to to um, get Stealth Rocks up. And if he wants to switch out, turn one, two, into, um, I'm sorry, uh, into the Swamper, then I do have the Shuckaberry Energy Ball combo, which should be able to take that on. I think at least. I did not explicitly run calcs on that scenario. But I think I think he would want to take this out turn one if he can. Or I guess turn two. But let's see here. If like, let's see, if we give this thing Nope, max attack is what I meant to give it. Max attack earthquake. Yeah, should do about half, even if we make this thing adamant real quick and just assume the worst. It shouldn't do more than 75%-ish. So let's see. I'm super curious to see whether he no, he doesn't. This is the this is the uh, thunderous here. But I do just get up the stealth rocks. I wonder if he has a defog on this thing right away. I wonder if he was scouting for the defog turn one. Now, this thing can Dark Pulse me, right? I don't want to mess with that too early on. I don't want to mess with that possibility too early on. I kind of want to just get damage on this thing, though. I'm pretty confident I can take whatever this thing wants to hit me with. Thunderous is definitely going to have Dark Pulse available. But I'm defensive enough for Dark Pulse. I'm doing more with Psychic than it should do with Dark Pulse. Getting damage on this thing is going to be important, though. It's going to be pretty darn important. And I don't have great switch into this thing. I really don't have great switch into this. Okay. I'm gonna just hit it with a Psychic. Just goes for the Defog right away, so giving me a fairly free turn to get damage off, that's totally fine with me. 
I wonder if it's packing the thunder. It probably is. Yeah, it does about what I expected it to. It does a minimum 40%, so that's what I should expect from it. It does go for the thunder straight up. Now, done no dark pulse, which is really interesting to me. Paralysis. Okay, okay. I mean, I guess I deserve it being a Jirachi. Actually, no. Serene Grace... Serene Grace Psychic did not even get a darn, um... Did not even get a darn, uh... Special defense drop in this situation. I could have two hit it with a special defense drop. Now it's a 40% chance, and I didn't get it either time, so... You know what? I did not deserve this paralysis right here. Let's see. I kind of want to make... I kind of want to make the G-Flay and just go for the Stealth Rocks right here. No, but it's going to have Prankster Defog, so I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Do you have a switch into Psychic now? Not really. Jirachi doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. Other than trying to get, like, Shuckaberry shenanigans off. So, okay, I'm going to click Psychic. Hopefully I don't get fully parried. Oh, this is the Electrium Z, isn't it? Yeah, okay. We might take that? I honestly don't know. Well, Z Thunder. Thunderbolt, maybe, but Z Thunder is not going to be great for me. We might take it. I think we might take it. I guess we'll see. We have a solid chance, I feel. No, we don't take it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Burn the Z move pretty darn early. Which is totally fine with me. Totally, totally fine with me. Now, what do I want to go into right now? I have to remember his team a little bit. Let me... Let me give a quick peep. Oh, didn't we bring the Toxapex? That's wild. That's wild. Okay. No hit on top either. See, he has the Electrium Z, right? I could take this opportunity to get a Dragon Dance up. No Kingdra either. Kingdra's, no Kingdra's kind of wild. Because I EV'd everything to outspeed, um, to, if I get double speed to outspeed, um, Kingdra in rain. But yeah, no. I really kind of just want to go into this thing right here. I get it, HP Ice is a definite possibility here, but I do have the Yachi Berry, and if, if I can Dragon Dance up twice, then I should be in decent position. I don't know quite, yeah, there's the Hidden Power Ice, there's the Yachi Berry, and we can gauge from the damage what we're looking at here. Okay, that's more than a 2 KO. But yeah, getting this Dragon Dance up is enough for me right now. He might honestly want to go into the Tang Growth here. I wouldn't be surprised at that. Would he preserve this to go into the Tang Growth? My instinct says yes, and my instinct says that, um... My instinct says that he would want to preserve this thing for Prankster Rain Dance later. So I'm gonna. So I don't think this has any downsides unless he has some prankster, some crazy prankster nonsense. But I should outspeed him now. So Sludge Wave is going to take him out, and if he switches out into the Tang Growth here on that switch, then which is really his only switch into this thing, then I should be doing about fifty percent, unless it's Assault Vested, which, in which case. Uh, Okay, are we going to see the Tangrowth come in? Yes! Oh, we called that correctly. That is wonderful. Let's see how much we do here. Yikes! Okay, that is hecka Assault Vested. No, that has to be Assault Vested. Let's see. The Zygarde against Tangrowth. We 
Yeah, Sludge Wave should be doing so much more. Item, Assault Vest. Yeah, that's about the correct damage for Assault Vest. And, and I have to give him Calm, too, just to hit that. But yeah, he's definitely Calm Assault Vest here. So that's interesting knowledge. That's interesting knowledge. I really thought it would be max defense in this situation. Hmm. It might even have the Flying Berry, too, which is wild. It might even have the Flying Berry, too. So, I'm in here. I've already burned this dang berry. I mean, I guess I can Sludge Wave again, try to get a poison, but, dude, I don't know. I don't want to give this thing up too early, though. Is there anything this thing really needs to take on? I mean, with the Dragon Dance up, it can take on his entire team once his tank growth goes down. Who knew that a fully specially defensive tank growth would wall my dang's eye guard right now? All right. I'm just going to go for another Sludge Wave. I don't know. Maybe we get a Poison here. This is really unfortunate. I guess we just have to try and get damage on this. Maybe crit this thing. I don't even know at this point. Hidden Power Ice. We go down. We, we survive on 7 HP. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Um... Another Sludge Wave would do, be doing decent damage, but you could also just go into the... Swamper here. If you go directly into the Swamper for the Regenerator, then it pretty much nullifies everything I've been doing. But, I don't know, just trying to get... Oh, is, is the Swamper going to come in right now? Smoker's Lung. I don't know what that would... Oh, okay. Um, It's going to have, like, a Sucker Punch or something to hit me with. It's going to have a Sucker Punch or something to hit me with. Or just Mock Punch, right? I think this... I think it's, oh, Vacuum Wave. Probably vacuum wave. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately I had to give up Zygarde way too early. Way, way, way too early. But extreme speed will bring it to under half. So we're just going to click it for now. If he forgot and went for Sucker Punch... Oh, he went for Sucker Punch! Oh, no! He forgot how Sucker Punch works. Oh, no. Now we think I can freely Thousand Arrows here. Catch something on a switch in. I can catch something on a switch in with Thousand Arrows, but what would he reasonably switch into? Unless he also has Mock Punch, which is... Well, no, if he also has Mock Punch, then he would switch out anyway. I'm going to Thousand Arrows here. He withdraws. What comes in here? I don't know what that is either. Ooh, this is going to get big damage. We could probably two-hit this. At least threaten a two-hit. I don't think this thing gets priority. I used a Polytoad myself. I don't... I'm not aware of priority that this thing would get. Oh yeah, that's a solid-ass two-hit. Oh my god, this is a beautiful, beautiful Zygarde right now. We just thousand arrows again. We could possibly KO this thing. If he wants to switch out into the Swampert, then we and it has to take a thousand arrows and it has to take an extreme speed. Goes for the protect. Okay, fair enough. He's burning his own rain. Which is interesting. And I don't think it helps him take this any better. Unless he wants to bring this thing back in later. Get some more leftovers. No, not even leftovers. I'm not quite sure what that was. This thing's going to KO something. This thing is insane. Okay. He's going to give up something, I think. He's going to go into the Tangro. Oh, he wanted to scout, I guess. That's fine, I guess. But at plus one... Oh, I didn't even count plus one. But at plus one, Thousand Arrows is doing like pretty much just as much as a Sludge Wave would do. So it doesn't really matter too much. Let's see. Uh, Tangrowth. I know your whole, like, deal. Yeah, actually, at plus one, it doesn't matter anyway, because Thousand Arrows does just as much as Sludge Wave. So I don't know why I was freaking out trying to, like, call these Sludge Wave. 
I'm trying to make these ledge wave calls. Item assault vest. I miss out on I miss out on a percent or two. Actually, extreme speed does more than sludge wave. So yeah, I'll just click extreme speed. It's fine. Man, if I had somehow like made that call and gone for um and gone for um dragon dance on that polytoad protect would have been wild, absolutely wild. But um, Zygarde punched some holes into his team for sure. For sure, for sure. This could be my chance to go into... Um... My Halucha here. And now Halucha... Just click Swords Dance in all honesty. We just click Swords Dance in all honesty. It either knocks off or... Goes for HP Ice. In either way... We get what we need out of this exchange, or it switches out, in which case, you know, we're out here. Something's gonna try to ice beam me eventually, because he doesn't have his his uh, electric hitters in this match at all. So Yachi Berry was the correct call in this situation, I think. It was out to the Swampert. So this is interesting. I'm gonna be a plus two. Let's see. Swampert. Let's give this max attack. Ice punch. Through Yachi Berry does nothing. But at plus two, what am I doing to it? I think I Oko a plus two with acrobatics. Yeah, I do. So I just click acrobatics here. Does it just go for the ice punch here? I don't think it has much of a shot, an opportunity to go for much. I mean, waterfall could take me out in all honesty. Waterfall in rain could take me out. If it does, then... No, nope. that's a crit. No, I think... I have to see. I have to see. Waterfall in rain doesn't take me out without a crit. Even Adamant. That crit actually mattered, dude. That crit actually mattered. If we make this Adamant, it, it should do max 86%. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I think we can pretty freely go into, um... Fletcher here, the... Delmize. Now, this thing also has Sludge Wave for the Tangrowth. But now that we know that it's a Soul Vest, it's probably not going to do much at all. But realistically, I don't know what he would bring in in this situation to take this on. I kind of just want to go for Power Whip anyway. I mean, I mean, at this point, Power Whip from a Delmize might actually do more than Sludge Wave. Let's see. Where's my Delmize? Yeah, Delmize. Um, what am I looking at? Tangrowth. Uh, let's see here. No, Sludge Wave still does more. Okay, that's interesting. But he has to switch out into something. What would he switch out into? I mean, Tangrowth is the obvious play, right? I'm just going to click Sludge Wave. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I could be making the correct, the incorrect play again. But, no, okay, Tangrowth does come in. How much are we doing with Sludge Wave? Oh, we're doing nothing with Sludge Wave. Jesus. But I don't think it does much to me other than like clicks knock off, I guess. But I don't care too much. I'm just gonna click Sludge Wave again. I should have brought like 
Cobra Berry in all honesty. I think that's the berry that would mitigate knockoff damage. I should have brought that. I mean, we're doing enough damage. Just Oh, and we get the poison. Okay, that's actually that's actually decently helpful. Now I think I can power whip freely. Power up, yeah, power up should do enough in this situation. And pr protects me against the switch in. I'm going to do it. I feel like he would switch in the No, it just stays in and knocks off. Okay. Okay, that's that's fine, I guess. I mean, this is my main answer to Swampert, unfortunately, but oh, we're out here. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh, man. That crit really did matter. I mean, in all fairness, then he brings in something later that can take me out through Yachi Berry, but I still outspeed a lot of his team, and I can still do a whole lot of work to, to the rest of his team. But, uh, unfortunately not anymore. Okay, so this thing comes in. I mean, I think I can just click Power Whip in this situation. I think I can just pretty freely click Power Whip in this situation. I mean, in all honesty, my Hydreigon can still win this match for me. My Hydreigon can still absolutely win this match for me. Do I have anything else? Oh, Niki Lego can also definitely win this match for me as well. Niki Lego is actually out here right now. But I'm definitely, definitely going to need damage on a lot of his team. And, hey, we did not get 6 owed. Did not get 6 owed, so that's a thing. Okay, well, we are finally, finally back. Uh, it took a bit to recreate that entire thing, but but it looks like we are now back. And my plan from the beginning was to just click Power Whip here. Try to get some damage off, maybe over predicts. I don't have any item left, so maybe I can take a knock off. Uh, if he's uninvested, I'm not quite sure, but I guess... We're going to see what we do against a Landorus Incarnate. Landorus. His entire team is weak, but he could still 5-0 me on the stat sheet, which is unfortunate. We should be doing well over half. Just does go for the knockoff. Can we take this? We don't take it. Okay. It's a crit. Okay. I mean, I guess we should see if that mattered. Yeah, that probably mattered. Because I was already knocked off. Let's see. Yeah, max roll was 56. And we were at 69 HP. Well, okay then. Alright, okay, okay. It's okay. Now, we definitely go into... This thing, right? And I think right now, we have to just kind of go for it. And... We Tailwind here. Yeah, I'm pretty positive we just have to go for it. I I would be pretty surprised if he doesn't go into the Politoed straight away here. But that power whip damage would have mattered so much. Because I can't Oko this thing without that prior damage. Yeah. D Dragon Pulse genuinely, like, does the work without that, but I kind of... Okay, it just goes for the knockoff. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have a life orb anymore. It is what it is. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to Oko the uh, Swamper anymore. But you know what? We're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. I'm just going to click Dragon Pulse here. We don't have a life orb anymore, so I have to remember that for the calcs and the whatnot. Uh, should be a 2 at KO, no matter what. We should wall this thing decently well, unless it has Hidden Power Ice, or whatever the case is, but, um, Hidden Power Vary, I guess. But, uh, it does withdraw. I still do have the Tailwind up. I forget what this thing is already. Yeah, there's a Politoed. So, Dragon Pulse should take this thing out on the Switch in. But yeah, that really does suck, because now... 
And now, like I said, I don't Oko, I do get the crit there, the meaningless crit. I don't Oko the Swampert anymore. But would he bring in the Swampert? Because I just set up a Tailwind, so I don't know that Swampert would be the best play right now. Um, he does have to fear something to hit the Swampert, right? And I'm still definitely under Tailwind. I'm still definitely under Tailwind right now. So if this can keep the Swampert in the back, then it does give me an opportunity to break out the Focus Sash Nihilego a little bit later. But in all honesty, I don't think... Oh. I mean, yeah, he can just go into this and that's fine. Um, Unfortunately, we do have to crit with Hidden Power Grass in order to take this thing out. Because we could not get any prior damage on this thing. We just got crit... At the worst possible moments, in all honesty. Yeah, HP Grass will never take you out, but will Ice Punch take me out? I mean, I feel like... I feel like... We should have a decent enough chance to, to take it. Oh, we should take it. We have a pretty decent chance to take this thing. So I'm just gonna hit Power Grass. I hope I didn't, like, miss something and didn't set up Tailwind, but no, I definitely set up Tailwind. Yeah, that's, that's a solid 2 KO. Goes for the Waterfall. Might have been expecting me to switch out, but I don't. I do have one turn of Tailwind rem rem remaining. So I kind of want to make a call here. Dragon Pulse does minimum 37, so it should hit whatever comes in on a switch. And what does he have left that can possibly switch in? He has a Toxic Croak, which would go down. He has the uh, Landorus, which would go down, and the Thunderous, which would go down. And then that would freely let me set up a Tailwind here. So I'm going to Dragon Pulse here. I wouldn't be surprised if he switched. This is the, my last turn of Tailwind right now. Which really does stink. But um, in all honesty, we are in as good a position as we can be given um, all those crits. But man, that crit on the Delmize kind of did matter in all honesty, I guess. That crit on the Delmize kind of didn't matter, and in all honesty, this thing should have been gone a while ago if I had been able to take that hit from Halucha and threaten the Oko with acrobatics. But we're in the best position we can be, given all that's happened so far. We've already locked in our move. I guess right now he's considering... He's considering what could, would be able to take a hit. Smoke along. Well, that's the... Okay, yeah, this thing goes down. Straight away. I think he expected me to HP Grass again. He, yeah, he, he must have expected me to HP Grass again and be able to take it. We do get another meaningless crit. All of my crits are absolutely meaningless. No, that's totally fine. But now... Actually... This is interesting. Because, okay, so he can freely go into Swamper right now, right? He can very, very freely go into Swamper right now. But. All the remaining Mons. Whoa, I just realized all the remaining Mons on his team. I. No, I, I should. Mm, it's going to depend on investment, but I should under speed with Nihi Lego. Because my Nihilego is completely uninvested, I could Trick Room. I don't know what he's going to go for right now, but I just set up another Tailwind, or at least I try. I have to in this situation. Actually, no, that was a mistake. Well, let's see. I guess he should be able to take me out. Goes for the U-turn. Does that take me out? It does. Okay. He probably goes to the Swamper to try to clean this thing up, but... If his genies are, if his genies are speed invested, then my Nihilego would underspeed them in Trick Room, and we have a chance. It's not a huge one, but I'm gonna bring up Nihilego right now because I'm gonna get a Beast Boost as well. So that's gonna be absolutely huge. This is the final Mon, the Nihilego himself. 
itself. It doesn't have a gender, but Earthquake is 100% in Oko every dang day of the week. Now, what's this rain situation? Oh no, this is last turn of rain. I saw the trick. No, I can't trick room. Wow. I can't trick room because of this last turn of rain. And he would underspeed me next turn. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. If I trick room, then he underspeeds me next turn and takes me out. And... If I don't trick room, then he, the other mons on his team take me out. This is worst case scenario. Or no, wait, what? Could his polytoid have been damp rock? Well, no, it would have showed me that it was damp rock on my bottom screen. I guess I just have to click trick room in this situation. Goes for the waterfall, doesn't even go for the earthquake in this situation. But we do take it with that focus sash. And I flinch. I flinch on the turn that I would have trick roomed. And it is damp rock! No! I think we win! I think we would have won without that flinch! I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. <sighs> well, I'm... I guess GG. There was nothing we could have done in that situation, but, um... GG, we, we genuinely had a chance at plus one to underspeed the rest of his team. I have to ask him what the uh, what the investment was on the rest of his mons. I guess we're gonna see in his just saying. So I did talk it out with EXP Awesome, and it turns out that uh, his Landorus was scarfed and his Thunderous was max speed. So if that flinch ever happened, I would have been able to underspeed the Swampert in the following turn. You hit it with a grass knot, be able to take it out, get the plus one beast boost. And then from there, and then from there, his thunderous could have come in. And unfortunately, and that's actually when that crit from earlier on the Delmize came in. Because if, because uh, given his investment, there was no way that his landers would have been able to take out my delmize at 69 hp and it would have done maximum 62 hp so <coughs> so with that i would have been able to take it and and i would have done over half with a power whip which would have been more than enough damage where i would have been able to take it out at plus one with my nihil lego and then nihil lego just takes out the landers and the thunderous from there we could have won that game if it wasn't for the crit on the Delmize as well as the uh, flinch on the Nihilego on the turn I went for Trick Room. So, that's just how it goes. I really wanted to get back up to 4-4, four four, but it doesn't end up happening. Hopefully, we can end the season at 5-5 five and five at a perfect 500 after uh, losing our first four matches. But I suppose that's just how it goes. Uh, either way, it was a total lot of fun. Um... EXP Awesome was a great guy to get to talk to you after the match, and uh, definitely go check him out. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again out.